Stay one step ahead with Dubai Eye. Molly, General Motors has traditionally had a strong market in Saudi Arabia. I've been there over many years, and Chevrolet's are just about everywhere, as are all the GM cars. Um, Have you seen any spike in sales since the decision to open the roads to all citizens two months ago? We we have seen a spike in sales. It's been really interesting, though, to watch the market, how it's evolved. And what we've seen is that, as you mentioned, uh, Chevrolet has been part of Saudi Arabia for more than 90 years. And... We've always had women buying cars, but of course they're not buying them for themselves. They were buying them uh, for their drivers. Now what we see is they're in the showroom and they're more actively participating in the purchase decision because they are buying the car for themselves. And so they're buying different cars. They're buying smaller cars. They're buying primarily SUVs. We're seeing a lot of Equinox, Traverse, and Malibu, which is a midsize sedan. I, I was really surprised to, to to hear that women are buying the cars even for their drivers. I was well, that was sort of a male thing in Saudi Arabia. What about yourself, Raha? I mean, you're the brand ambassador for Chevy, uh, so I'm guessing that you're a driver. Did you see a big rush um, to the car showrooms from your friends and other women in Saudi? I think there was a rush in, in all aspects of information, uh, what car to get, uh, how to drive. And all, it, it was just one of those things, uh, moments where everybody started calling me and asking me questions because they know that I love cars so much. And it's just, I, I can't wait to see what the next generation does. And like you said, classically, a lot of people don't know that women are the ones that buy the car. And now it's more obvious because they're buying for themselves. So they're, mo- they're being more picky and they... they I'm really surprised at that because obviously we've heard of the sort of the the the, the system of patronage that sort of the, the parents, the male guardians, are the ones that traditionally go out and would make decisions mm-hmm. on behalf of women. So actually, it's not quite as uh, cut and dried as that. Yeah. Did did you find much resistance from your relatives, perhaps from the from the older generation or from other women even when the decision happened? I think the majority were concerned about the what ifs. Mm. What if I'm driving and I have a, a tire burst or something like that and I, I, that's one of, the, one of the main things that people that were worried to start driving for. I mean, it's a woman who's climbed Mount Everest <laughs> and they're worried about you having a flat I mean, tire. Not me, not me particularly, <laughs> but in general. And what I loved about uh, uh, Chevrolet and GM as a brand, they, they had the roadside assistance. That's one of the things that I really yeah. admire is that it took out this fear of what if I get stuck? I thought that was brilliant. So first of all, you, you're trying to help the people overcome this fear. And uh, and yeah, my, my parents, uh, poor, poor parents have accepted a long time ago ago that I'm going to do crazy things but my immediate family like the elder the elder ladies in my family were the ones that were worried the most the new generation is excited but the older generation is a little bit hesitant because they just they, they've never been in that side of the car stay one step ahead with Dubai Eye